Buccaneers head coach Bruce Arians spoke for the very first time today since wide receiver Antonio Brown was suspended for violating the NFL's COVID protocols. And tonight, sports anchor Kyle Berger has more on what this could now mean for Brown's future with the Bucs. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers can take a four-game lead in the NFC South if they beat the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday. And it's a big, big game for us. It's a division game on the road, and uh, I know everybody wants the other story, but we're playing the Falcons. I don't give a shit about that. The other story? The NFL suspended wide receiver Antonio Brown and safety Mike Edwards for three games for misrepresenting their vaccination statuses. The league did their due diligence, and um, we move on. Uh, I will not address those guys uh, for the next three weeks. They'll just be working out and, and we'll, we'll address their future at that time. Brown has had several incidents of off the field trouble in the past. In November of last year, Arians praised Brown's behavior after signing with the team. Uh, he's been a model citizen. If and when he's not, we'll move on. The league's investigation found evidence that Antonio Brown brought a fake vaccination card with him to training camp. Bruce Arians concerned there may be more cases like this across the league. I just hope that uh, they don't stop looking. I will say this, in the last two years, I don't know if there's been a team better against COVID than we have been. All right, this is a, this is a setback because of what happened, but we have done our amazing job and even when the guys we have never had an outbreak in tampa kyle berger abc action news